Okay, so today I'm gonna take a risk because we always have to learn and take risks. I love this painting. There's a lot going on in here that I really love. I love the dynamic with the negative space. I love what's going on here. This is super mysterious. And we're gonna try some alcohol inks on it. <laughs> this is the first time I've attempted to use alcohol inks on a painting that I've done. As I'm laying down the acrylic inks, I just want to see what it's doing in its natural organic state. Alcohol inks dry very quickly, and I soon realize that I want to smooth it around and have some delicate textures with my paintbrush. The alcohol colors that I am using are red gold, light gold, brown, coffee, fuchsia, and gold. My initial ink is kind of heavy because I didn't use my paintbrush, so I grab my hand sanitizer, which has a lot of alcohol, and give it a spray. I know that that sometimes helps move the ink. In this case, it did allow it to blur just a little bit the way that I was wanting. Now I'm using a little bit of the coffee ink to give it some depth in the area that for me was standing out a little too much. It is starting to take shape and form, and I naturally follow what lines make sense to me. From the beginning of looking at this painting, before I even applied the alcohol inks, I interpreted this as a rock formation, a little lichen to the left. I wanted to add a three-dimensional element with light and reflection with these alcohol inks. I definitely wanted to make my painting harmonious and I see these three different areas as transitions from left to right, right being my heavy metallics and more organics from the beginning on the left. So I add little hints of my alcohol inks, a little more in the center and then fewer to the left. I want this painting to be related to itself, not disjointed. And at the same time, there are three different stories as if there's been a metamorphosis and a change from the organic lichen area over to the metallics.
I want to balance the painting in detail, depth, and color. stand back here and I'm done. I am so glad that I took the risk to play with these alcohol inks on this acrylic pour painting. It came out just as I wanted it to, but I was so nervous to try it. We always have to try something new. The lichen to the left and all the gorgeous colors transitioning over to the brilliance of the metallics is very gratifying for me. I love this transition and my metamorphosis. Thanks so much for joining me today and taking a risk. I wish you happy, happy creations. <laughs>